Hey, my name is Cedric. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time uh, viewing our channel, well, welcome. Uh, we release a Facebook ad video every week. And uh, yeah, I strongly recommend you to subscribe because we always share a lot of value. And in this video, I will show you how you can send all sorts of events to your Facebook pixel uh, via the conversion API. So from Shopify to Facebook ad manager. So without further ado, let's get right into that. So right now I am in events manager and what I'll actually do is uh, remove my face from the screen so that you can see my entire screen. Great. And we're going to want to go to settings. And if we scroll all the way down, um, first of all, you might want to turn on advanced matching. Uh, it's always a good thing to turn on. And if you turn it on, if you click on show options, uh, make sure that the email, uh, first name and last name, a phone number is there and a city, state, zip code, and country. And if ever you collect the user's date of birth or the external ID or the gender, then feel free to also uh, check it. So now if we go to the conversion API, which that's what we're trying to do in this video, you're gonna wanna choose a partner. So I was already doing some tests with Zapier. So I'm just actually gonna remove Zapier from there. And I'm gonna choose a partner and I'm gonna pick Shopify. Okay, and then finish. So now we've enabled Shopify as our partner for the conversion API. So the next thing that you'll want to do is head over in Shopify. And this is one of my uh, demo Shopify store. So there's not much uh, things in that specific store, but you're going to want to go to apps and you're going to want to click on shop for apps. Perfect. And we're going to type Facebook. As you see, there's a few different options for that query here, uh, the query right here, sorry. Uh, what we wanna add is the Facebook uh, channel. So we're gonna click add app. And perfect, so now we're adding this to uh, our Shopify store. If I scroll down, I'm gonna click on add a sales channel. Perfect. Now we have it. It's quite possible that you already had uh, the Facebook app already installed on your Shopify. If you did, well, you'll see, right? You probably already recognize this icon and this sales channel. And when you hit the page, it shows you this. So yeah, if you know, if you're familiar with this uh, view, then you probably already have it installed. And now at this point, you know, you were just looking for some more information on how to fully set up the conversion API and uh, you know, not just send a purchase event, send all sorts of events from both the browser and the server, right? Which is through the conversion API. So what I'm gonna do now is click the start setup button. Now we're gonna start the setup process. So you need to connect a Facebook account to this uh, Shopify Facebook sales channel. So I'm gonna click on connect account. Now you don't see that, but I just saw a pop-up on my screen and it's just asking to verify my identity and make sure that I am truly Cedric. So I'm just entering my password and you're gonna have to do the same and you're gonna have to continue as your Facebook profile and just basically give uh, Shopify all the different permission that they uh, potentially need to continue with the setup. Now it's gonna ask you to set up your business manager. So you're gonna need to connect it to your business manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. And I'm gonna pick my demo FB account. So that's my demo Facebook business manager. And once that's connected, so for you, you should have your domain verified. Since this is a test account and a test Shopify store, I don't actually have a domain for this. So I'm using like a, a predefined Shopify domain, but for you, your domain needs to be your actual domain and it also needs to be verified. If your domain isn't verified, I actually released a video a few weeks ago about how to verify your domain uh, in Business Manager. So I show you the three different ways that you can verify your domain and I'll leave the link of that video in the description of this video. So go ahead and pause this video and watch that other video if your domain isn't verified. So I'm just gonna skip this because uh, like I said, I don't have a real domain. 
Now you're gonna to need to connect your Facebook page. I actually created a demo Facebook page, so I'm gonna connect this one, but you would connect obviously your uh, business Facebook page. And now right underneath it says data sharing, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it is enabled. And this is where all the magic happens. So you have three different options. You have the standard, enhance, and maximum. So you're gonna to wanna to pick the maximum, and here's why. So if I click on maximum, you're gonna see this little message right here. And basically they're saying that it uses the conversion API, and that's what this whole video is about, that's what you're trying to do today, uh, which shares data directly from Shopify server to Facebook server. So now when I talk about the uh, direct integration from Shopify to Facebook and using their maximum level, I often get the question, I used to have the same question myself, like what events does it send? Does it only send the purchase event to from Shopify to, to Facebook, or does it also send the add to cart, uh, view content, and all these other events from both the browser and the server? If you look at their documentation right here, and if we look at the maximum section, they actually say that they, the conversion API sends the purchase event between Shopify and Facebook servers. So in their documentation, they're actually not talking about sending any other data from the Shopify server to the Facebook server because you could send all sorts of data. You can send the add to cart, the view content, um, and a lot of other events from the server. It doesn't just need to be the purchase that is sent to through the conversion API. But here's the good news. Actually, a few weeks ago, I received this email from one of the Shopify support team. So I'll show it on the screen right here. And basically they're saying that now they not only send the purchase event from Shopify's server to Facebook server, but they also send all the other events. So that is really awesome because that means that Shopify can now do full server side tracking and send all the really important metric to Facebook server. So now just by enabling the maximum setting that we did right here, you're gonna be sending all the events and not just the purchase event. So it is a little bit confusing. I, I did mention to Shopify that they should probably update their documentation, but this is, I mean, depends on when you're watching this video. I'll leave the link of this article in the description of this video, but uh, probably if you're watching this video not too long after I publish it, well, it's probably still gonna say that uh, it, it, they, they only send the purchase event but it is not the case. And I confirm also, I looked into events manager for multiple clients that are doing this and using this setup. And I can assure you that they are sending all the different events from the browser, but also from the server. So it is working perfectly. The only thing that I noticed is that for some theme, it seems like the, the, the integration isn't working really well. So definitely make sure that when you're enabling this, uh, Riverfly Events Manager, make sure that it is sending everything correctly and you're not getting any sort of error message in Events Manager. Cool, so now let's just go ahead and finish our setup. So we're gonna go back to uh, this uh, setup page right here and I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna to wanna to probably connect a Facebook commerce account. So I just connected this one uh, just because, again, this is a test and this is a demo account, but you're gonna, there's gonna be a button. If you don't have one already showing up here for you, there's gonna be a button and you can just click on it and it's uh, probably just gonna create the commerce account for you. Once that's done and you see there's a little uh, green check mark here, just keep scrolling and you just need to accept the terms and conditions. So we're gonna review the terms. So you probably can't see it again, but there's a pop-up that just uh, popped up on my screen and I'm just gonna accept the terms. So do the same. And then as soon as you accept the terms, you're gonna see everything should show up here and Perfect, so everything looks verified. And then at this point, I can just simply click the finish setup button and uh, I would be all good to go. So guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you are able to uh, follow along and, and do everything without encountering any sort of like errors or issues. But if you did, uh, please let me know in the comment section of this video because I actually take the time to read out the comments and see if there's any way that I could uh, help a little bit further. So yeah, if you have any issues, just let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up, obviously if you uh, enjoyed the content. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, re-release videos just like this one about Facebook ads or tracking or anything really, like I said, related with Facebook ads every week. So consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now.